Here you'll learn about lanes and how to win. There are three lanes in the rift. Pick one and push forward. Defeat the enemy turrets and Nexus to win. Welcome. Here you'll learn the basics such as moving and attack. Hold and drag the movement stick to make your champion move. Here are some enemy minions. Tap to attack. Tap to learn and use this ability to strengthen. Tap to attack. Champions can learn their ultimate ability at level 5. Garen's ult does more damage as the enemy champion's health gets lower. Using your ult properly is the key to victory. Return to the spawning platform as soon as possible to heal. Using recall can quickly return you to the spawning platform. The fountain there will regenerate your champion's health. Welcome! Here you'll learn more about using it first. Let's use Ash and select the direction of her ability. Hold down the ability button you want to use. Drag it in new mission. Use your ability to defeat the enemy minions. Great! You now know how to aim your abilities. Next, we will learn how to cancel abilities. Follow the directions. Good! You've successfully cancelled the ability. Finally, use your long-ranged ultimate ability to defeat the enemy champion. New mission. Defeat the enemy champion. Congratulations! Welcome to the target lock tutorial. First, let's review how the attack button works. Tapping the attack button prioritizes attacking an enemy. If there are multiple enemies in range, it prioritizes the one with the lowest percent health. If you want to prioritize attacking minions or turrets, tap the minion or turret button. Let's try it out. You can also manually select a target to lock onto. Drag the attack button to lock on to an enemy target. Target locked. Try locking on to the enemy Soraka. While locked on to a target, attacks and abilities will automatically prioritize it. Let's try tapping to cast an ability. Look, it automatically casts at your locked target. But how do you unlock from a target? You can either drag the attack button to the cancel button, or tap the minion or turret button to force a target swap. Let's try it out. Target unlocked. Welcome. Here you'll learn to use the target minion button and the target turret button. Tapping your attack button will prioritize enemy champions within range. Use the minion button to attack enemy minions. New mission. Defeat the enemy minions. Good. You now know how to use the minion button. Use the turret button to prioritize enemy structures. New mission. Destroy the enemy turret. Good. You now know how to use the turret button. Welcome. Here you'll learn to use the portrait lock feature to lock onto enemy champions. First, activate the portrait lock setting. Success! Portrait lock is now enabled. Next, let's learn how to lock on to enemy targets. Tap on the enemy champion's portrait to lock on to that champion. Great! You've successfully locked on to the enemy champion. 
Now your attacks will target the champion you've locked onto. Now your abilities will target the champion you've locked onto. Next, let's learn to cancel the lock on. Tap on the locked champion. Good. You've successfully canceled the lock on. Welcome. Here you'll learn about turrets. Turrets will prioritize the first enemy that enters their attack range. You will take heavy damage if you attack a turret by yourself. Let minions take damage for you. Your minions are taking the turret's fire. Now is the time to attack. When you go near a turret, you will see one of three colored circles on the ground. The colors indicate how the turret will behave. Green. The turret is attacking other units. You won't be attacked if you enter its range. Yellow. The turret is not attacking any units. You will be attacked if you enter its range. Red. You are currently being attacked by the turret. Welcome. Here you'll learn about monsters and the jungle. First, let's learn about the buff monsters. The blue sentinel. And the red brambleback. The blue sentinel is commonly called the blue buff. After defeating the sentinel, champions will gain a temporary buff that adds mana and health regeneration. The red brambleback is commonly called the red buff. After defeating the brambleback, champions will gain a temporary buff that adds true damage and slow to their attacks. Using smite will let you slay jungle monsters more efficiently. Terrific! You've successfully defeated the Red Brambleback and gained the Crest of Cinder's buff. Next, let's learn about the Rift Scuttler. Rift Scuttlers will spawn after the game begins, one in each half of the river. They will respawn shortly after being defeated. Nice job. Let's learn about Elemental Drakes next. Elemental Drakes are commonly called Dragons. Defeating an Elemental Drake grants your team a permanent buff that lasts until the end of the match. There are four types of Elemental Drake, and they spawn in a random order. After a Drake is defeated, Drakes of the same element will not spawn again. The marking on the Dragon Pit will show you what type of Drake will spawn next. and learn more about Baron Nasher. Baron Nasher is commonly called Baron. He'll spawn late during the game and respawn after he is killed. Baron Nasher has high attack and defense. You'll need a team to defeat him. Defeating Baron will grant the Hand of Baron buff to your team. This buff enhances nearby allied minions, reduces recall time, and increases your damage. New mission. Help your team defeat Baron Dasher. You've defeated Baron Nasher and gained the buff, Hand of Baron. Your minions have been buffed. Go attack the enemy turrets. For your convenience, your point of view will automatically rotate. Remember, 
You can find the Elemental Drake's location using the Elemental Drake symbol on the minimap. An Elemental Drake will spawn here a few minutes into the game. Remember this location. The lane closest to the Elemental Drake is called the Dragon Lane. Go to the Elemental Drake spawn point and help the jungler defeat the Elemental Drake. New mission. Help your team defeat the Elemental Drake.